Hello, I need here once again, and here I have another question. Uh, again, we need to form an algebraic expression uh, from word to algebra. Okay, so the question is saying Emma is saving to buy a new computer. Okay, so you want to buy a new computer. Write an expression again. We need to write an expression to represent the amount of the money she will have if she has S dollar saved and C adds D dollar per week for the next 12 weeks. Okay, C already have S amount of dollar and every week C is saving D dollar for the next 12 weeks. Okay, so uh, l l let's first write the information what we have got. Okay, amount C had saved. Now, I mean amount C has now. Okay, amount C has now is S dollar, right? And amount C gonna save for the next 12 weeks. Amount, amount C is going to save is every week, you know, C save D dollar. Okay, every week C is saving D dollar. And such D dollars, you know, C is going to save for the 12 weeks. For the first week, C will save D. For the second week, another D. For the third week, another D. For the fourth week, another D. Like this, you know, for the 12. I mean for the for the for the for the 12 times okay uh, do I have to write that is another way also directly multiply by 12 okay but I'm gonna show you D D D D D fourth week fifth week sixth week seventh week eighth week ninth week tenth week eleventh week and twelfth week so in 12 weeks C is going to save 12 D amount of the dollar okay uh, this thing what I did here now you know just like like writing one by one one for the every week uh, we're not going to do in the further uh, problems, okay? In future, we're not going to do that because this is a lazy process. This is the first time I told you. Um, uh, another time, you know, we'll just multiply by that 12 day, okay? Like like in one day, um, you eat one burger, okay? Every day you're eating one burger. So in five days, how many burgers you'll eat? Five burger, okay? So in one week, if you save D amount of dollar, then in 12 week, you'll save 12 D amount of uh, dollar right simple so I hope you understand it now this is the things we are given so the question is asking uh, write an expression to represent the amount of the money she will have I, she will have how much money she gonna have now like already she has s and 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 uh, other 12 D she gonna save till the end of 12 weeks okay so amount she will have now I can write amount she will have Initial money and later saving, you know. Initial money, what she has? Initial money plus plus the amount of money she saved in 12 weeks, okay? So, 12 weeks saving. So, initial money was S and 12 weeks saving was 12D. So, this is the 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 algebraic expression the question is asking for, right? I hope you understand. So, similar type of the question, you know, I told you at the initial uh, stage of, uh, you know, uh, learning this uh, algebra one that you have to break the question into the small small pieces and then add those pieces and make a beautiful garland I mean crack the question all right we'll be doing more questions and that will give you more ideas to solve uh, even difficult questions all right I'm sure uh, your teacher has given you lots of work it and uh, the questions are very tough there all right but you can crack it you know because you have me. <laughs> uh, if you have any doubt or any question to ask me, then please feel free to comment in the comment section below. I will be really happy to hear them and reply them. Right? And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And you can also catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Please. Bye. Mm -hmm. And the product of the choice of the width and the height. Write an expression that represents the surface area of the prism. Hmm. Okay. So let's.